everyone. This time we will review on the mathematical logic circuits. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. So we are now in mathematical logic, specifically the logic circuits. So this is one of the applications of mathematical logic. We have application that was discovered by Claude Shannon from 1916 to 2021, wrote a thesis on the application of symbolic logic to switching networks. So specifically this circuits. We all know that in a given circuit can be expressed as in a logical statement. It can either be true or false. The true represents a closed switch or a current flow, while a false represents an open switch, no current flow. So again, true is for close and open is false. So we have these two types, the series and the parallel circuit. For the series, the current can take only one path. For the parallel, there are two or more paths the current can take. So we have an illustration here, series circuit. We have an outlet, we have the wall switch, the lamp switch, and the light. So if series, case one, both switches are closed. So if closed, remember, open. So if closed, the light is on. Open and light if closed, since closed, the, uh, the energy can pass to the wire. So we have there. So case one, same as uh, end for series. P is true and Q is true. The light is on. So therefore true. Case two, switch P is closed and switch Q is open. That is, P is true and Q is false. The light is off. So, false. Case 3, switch P is open and switch Q is closed. That is, P is false and Q is true. The light is still off. That is false. Case 4, both switches are open. That is, P is false and Q is false. The light is off. So that is false. So this is similar to the conjunction. That it is the series circuit only is the light is on only if both P and Q are close. Since the, the current can pass by the wire. So that is for series circuit. We have the table of value for the series. So switches and series, we have there the light. Uh, similar to N, the conjunction, that if the P is true and the Q is true, therefore the light is on. So only if the first P is true, meaning close, and the second uh series we have there the sick second circuit is true therefore true all the rest if one is false or one is open so that is off parallel circuit what is this parallel circuit we have there the drawing for series we have only one line similar to our bob which is series for parallel circuit we have uh, case 1 and 2, both switches are closed. So this is the form of parallel. We have two lines here, P and Q. And we have the light or the bulb. If both switches are closed, that is P is true and Q is true, the light is on. So true. Case 2, switch P is closed and the switch Q is open, that is P is true and Q is true. The light is still on. This is for or a disjunction. Case 3, switch P is open and switch Q is closed. That is P is true, uh, P is false and Q is true. The light is still on. That is true. Case 4, both switches are open. That is P is false and Q is false. Therefore, the light is off. Okay. So we have 
the table we have the truth table for the parallel circuit so this is the drawing we have parallel pq so switches in parallel will always be represented with a disjunction or so in summary the light is on if at this one is closed so we have there only false false and off all the rest is uh true for parallel circuits similar to the switches that if you have two switches and then it can either of the two you can open then the light is on example here representing a switching circuit with symbolic statement so write a symbolic statement that represents the circuit here so we have p q i'm sure this is parallel but we have another parallel uh q r before the light so we have in symbolic form since p and q in parallel so p or q again parallel or that is by uh, disjunction q and r are in series q are series so therefore q and r together is or so together we get p quantity p and q or the quantity q and r okay so construct a truth table to determine when the light will be on or off so we have the truth table here combine p or q or q or r we have the overall contingency representing the switching circuits with symbolic statements okay since there are three statements here p q and r so the first is we have eight possible uh traces here it can be true or false so four ka true four ka false then two true false then true false true false for p and q we have there the truth table and then combine with q and r okay so therefore this is the symbolic or the truth table another example draw a switching circuit that represents the quantity p and q a negation of q this end is in series circuit or is in parallel r or q and s how you're going to write that one we have there p and the negation of q since that is and that is a series and then this is another parallel r or q is a parallel and s so therefore in symbolic form quantity p and the negation of q or the quantity r and q and s okay example four determine whether the two circuits are equivalent we have there a series qr and a parallel p and a qr and then next we have parallel pq and pr so solution here in the first circuit p or since the parallel is or and the series is n p or the quantity q and r another illustration is p and p or q p or q and p or r p or r so we have there the truth table combine if the two are equivalent since there are same truth table for the first given and the second logical statement so since the two columns are identical so meaning they are equivalent 
Okay, another is in two equivalent circuits here. P or Q and R is equivalent to P or Q and P or R. That is using distributive property and the two circuits are equivalent. Okay, that's all for this evening. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and watch my other math tutorials.